Alright, so this model of the railroad section of the railway cross section, of the rail cross section is really exercise of doing the of doing the lines under the angles and finding the theoretical intersections. So we will start it by placing the two center lines, one vertical and one horizontal and because of the symmetry we will only do half of the rails so one's vertical and one horizontal vertical will be a five inch and horizontal will be a 2.5 actually horizontal center line i can convert clicking on it i can say that this is not for construction so by unclicking construction it will be converted to a four line now, what I will do, I'm going to make some arbitrary length vertical line here, and I'm going to connect it with my center line. And I'm going to make that this angle is a 15 degrees. And the distance to the top, to this point from the origin, will be 7 8 of the inches. 7 8 of the inches and now to specify the angle i will click on a one line and then i will click on the other line and let me see and i need to click at the third point also yeah, let's see why it does not show me the angle i don't want the distance i just wanted the angle delete the distance i can make another theoretical center line which will be a horizontal and now i can specify that this the angle between those two as a 15 degree and that will fully constrain that bottom piece now what i know is at the top i have a one quarter inch offset and i will use the offset command offset entities will create an offsetted entity i will use offset to offset the center line to the right and it is a one half what means 0.25 one quarter offset and let's see on which side on my other side and i will click correct and it will automatically convert it to a construction geometry now for the top piece what i will need to do i will need to make it one and one half from the bottom I'm going to make a 15 degrees line so i'm going to make a line which will be from the center up to somewhere here up to somewhere here and up to here to back now i'm going to make an actually i don't need another center line because i can use this one i'm going now to specify that this angle is 15 degree I'm going to specify that this distance is going to be a 1.5 1.5 inches. I'm going to specify that distance between this point and center line is going to be a 1.25 and they still have one more things to specify and that thing to specify is actually let's see i'm going to delete this line temporarily specify that this line will be under 15 degree If I make the angle between 
this line and the center line, the vertical. That need to be a 50. And as you can see, that fully defined the sketch. And finally, I'm also going to convert the center line. I will uncheck box for construction. I will connect it to a full line. Here is now my full object with all of the theoretical intersections. I'm going to close this sketch. I'm going to extrude. I'm going to feature extrude boss. I'm going to unclick thin features. going to choose all of the area including this tiny area here area here and area here area here so let's see did we miss anything no and i will extrude it for 0.5 inches for my tiny stretch <clears throat> I will click OK. Let's see which one is the open counter. We have somewhere a problem. OK, there it is. And here is our basic boss. Now, what we need to do, all fillets are one quarter of the radius. We'll place a fillet in a content of the part with 0.25. And there will be several fillets. One fillet here, one fillet here, one fillet will go here, one fillet goes here, one fillet goes here. No, actually there is no fillet there. Last fillet should not be there. So those are all of the fillets that we need. Click OK. And now we will use the mirror in a content of the part. And to use the in a content of the features, the mirror in a content or in a content of the features, if we are at the features tab, is this icon here. We click on a mirror. Mirror face plane will be this face. And we are actually, because we are mirroring the full body, we will need to click on the arrow next to body to mirror. And we will click on the body itself. And that completes the demonstration of this rail profile. Here is our rail profile fully defined. So essentially, we've seen how can we use the construction geometry, how we use the fillet in a content of the feature, and how we use the mirror in a content of the feature to create a complex geometry object.